Fuego. I have a story today for you. We're going to talk about Palm Sunday and what Palm Sunday means, okay? So this one is called A Parade for a King. And you will find the story in Matthew 21, Mark 11, Luke 19, or John 12. All is kind of the same story, just written by different people. Disciples, I should say. Jesus and his disciples walked towards Jerusalem near the time of the Passover feast. But as they got closer, Jesus told two of his disciples, Go into the village nearby, and you will find a donkey colt. No one has ever ridden. Untie the colt and bring it here. If anyone asks you what you are doing, say the Lord needs of it. And he will send it back to you as soon as he's done. And they will let you bring the colt here. So the disciples did what Jesus said. They found the young donkey and then tied it. Why are you untying my coat, the owner said. The, coat, the, owner said. the Lord has need of it, the disciple said, and he will send it back as soon as he's done. All right then, the owner said. So the disciples led the colt to Jesus on the Mount of Olives where Jesus was waiting for them. Some of the disciples put their coats on the young donkey to make it a place for Jesus to sit on. Then they all started out for Jerusalem again, with Jesus riding the donkey and the disciples walking beside and behind him. People from the village came and joined the parade. Some put their coats on the road to make it a colorful pathway for Jesus to ride on. Others cut down, cut down palm branches, kind of like what I'm wearing. These are palm branches. And also these are kind of um, little um, palm, palm branches as well. So they laid them down and they were saying, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the one who sent us. People have come to Jerusalem from far away to celebrate the Passover feast. They have heard about Jesus and all the wonderful things he had done. Hooray, they said to one another. Jesus is coming. He is riding in the city on a donkey. Let's go see our king. They hurried out to the city to meet Jesus and joined the parade. Along the way, they cut down big leafy branches from the palm trees to wave. To wave. And as Jesus passed, they said, Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And you can see the donkey here, and there's Jesus and two of his disciples. Well, what does this mean, kids? And I'll show you the picture. See all the people with the, the branches? There's like, Hosanna, blessed be the king. Well, let me tell you what this means. This is on your birthday or, your, or on holidays. Do you ever get mail? Who sends you mail? What kind of mail do you get? It's fun to open letters, cards, and gifts someone has sent us, right? Do you remember that after Adam and Eve disobeyed the, in the Garden of Eden, God promised that someday he will send someone for us. And that someone was Jesus. One of Jesus' names in the Bible is Christ, which means anointed one, God's anointed, his chosen one, his son. Jesus came to the earth to die for our sins and to be ruler of God's people. And when the right time comes, kids, God did what he said he would do. He sent Jesus, the greatest gift ever given. God is so good, kids. Um, we need to worship him every day. We don't have to wait for Palm Sunday. Every day when you wake up, you say, Jesus, thank you for this day. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for life. And this is a little prayer. It says, Dear God, thank you for your promises you send. Send someone to lead your people and to make things right again. Thank you for sending Jesus. Amen. Remember, kids, you're a child of God. See you next time. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me And you have been so, so good to me Before I 
took a breath You breathed your life in me And you have been so, so kind to me Yeah. 